Hey everyone and welcome. Before we continue with the video, a big shout out to Instar Oval Grips for sponsoring this video. Oval Grips will help you build bigger and stronger arms. You can wrap them around any dumbbells, barbells, cable machines and other equipments. It can systematically train the forearms muscle and grip strength to improve the overall performance while lifting. Oval Grips has a wide range of grip diameter adjustment. You can choose the right grip for an effective training to 180 degrees rotation. For the minimum training difficulty, you can turn the grip in a vertical direction. This is for beginners. You can turn the hole inwards for medium training difficulty if you've been training for a while. And you can turn the hole outwards for the maximum training difficulty. Once again, a big thanks to Oval Grips for sponsoring the video. Link and discount code is on the screen right now and is available in the description box as well. Do check them out, that would really help support the channel. Thank you. So Sergio Oliva Jr. made sure that he put in work after Honor Classic 2020 where he cracked top 5. And yes, seems like he made all the necessary improvements and he is looking freaky at 11 weeks out and after Arnett being officially considered Olympia qualifier for the 2021, Sergio is fired up to step on the Olympia stage after 2018 where he placed 16th. But the improved size is definitely gonna help him move some slots. This guy Iman Rezai is no joke. The recent shots released by the Iranian athlete are freaky as hell. 212 division is pushing conditioning to the limits. And looking at his IG, he hasn't found it yet. But with a top notch coach like Abdullah in his corner, who helped Brendan Gurry win the Olympia, he can do wonders for his physique as well. He has a crazy shape with all the muscle in the world. I just hope that this guy doesn't suffer with visa issues like the great Hadi Chopin did for multiple years. Iman will be competing in Spain. Some recent pictures came out from Regan Grimes and he has definitely packed on some size. The legs have certainly improved. Regan without a doubt possesses great lines and aesthetics and the original plan was to put on 20 more pounds on his frame. At the highest level, obviously, it's not possible within a year. But he will definitely come in heavier come October. Where do you guys see him placing at the Olympia? Also, Regan will be doing on a UK and looks like he's gonna battle Nathan the Asia for the top spot. Man, we did not expect the legend Dexter Jackson to change this fast and lose massive amounts of muscle. But I am so glad that the retirement is treating him so well and he is focusing 100% on health. And to be honest, he does look young now. We hope Dex stays healthy and keeps inspiring us for a long time. The reigning Mr. Olympia, Big Remy, spoke after a long time regarding his plan of action for the Olympia. And his coach Dennis James confirmed that Rami will be staying with him for two months for the Olympia prep rather than three weeks like last year. DJ and Rami both advised the competition that if they want to have a chance against him, do not play the size game. Because no one is gonna outsize Rami. They're going to make that mistake like we did back in Rami's days. I mean, I thought I had to get as big as possible so I could stand yeah. next to Ronnie. And that was a mistake. And there's going to be some guys making the same mistake. So I, I, I suggest everybody, listen, try not to compete with him in size because it's, it's just not possible. And the warning for all the competitors is that Big Rami is in such a great shape 13 weeks out of the Olympia that he's just 20 to 25 pounds above his expected stage weight. I mean, he was up to 153 kilos. Now he's down, he's down to, and it sounds so crazy, 147, Rami? Wow. Yeah. 323, 323 yes. yeah. <laughs> so, but when you hear that number, you think about a fat, bloated body, oh, yeah. right? So think about it. He's only 25 pounds away from contest weight right now. And do expect him to be a little heavier than last year. 
you guys can watch the whole interview on Mr. Olympia YouTube channel. If you watch. think about it, you have you have to understand when he says when we say three twenty three, he's super lean. Let's end the video with Steve Kokolo's current physique. Four and a half weeks out of Texas Pro and eleven weeks out of the Olympia. Now Steve has admitted that he isn't that type of bodybuilder who is ready weeks out of the show, but on paper. He is the favorite to win Texas Pro against Ian and get his ticket to the Olympia. Not many can claim that they have placed top 6 in an Olympia, but Steve Kokolo can, which he was able to do back in 2019. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thank you.